Ladies and gentlemen, right before we jump into this, if you need help getting on the water sooner than later in the most cost-effective and time-efficient manner without getting burned, head on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com, sign up for a consulting package, and let's get you on the water. Ladies and gentlemen, as the holiday season arrives, what better time than to go sailboat shopping? So let's continue on taking a look at the used sailboat market. And today, let's discuss those $60,000, $65,000 vessels and see what is out there currently. Now, again, always keep in mind, my criteria is fairly simple. I want a vessel the year 2000 or later something in the 30 to 45 foot range and our budget 65 ish k today so let's see what has hit the market recently and here we are we've magically arrived at yacht world yes we always use yacht world so length at the waterline 30 to 45 feet again the year 2000 or newer we go down we click sail and our region today is going to be North America. As you can see, there is 1,486 vessels listed. Then we go down to advanced filters right here. We go to boats added recently, and within the last 60 days, there have been 351 new vessels added. Then we go to recommended, price low to high. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we start our search. Okay, so there's a couple things we do need to adjust. We gotta put our price, 60,000. Boom, right there. They're not 6,000, ladies and gents. 60,000. Missed a zero. We're only going to go up to about 75,000 because we don't want to look at a bunch of boats that are out of our price range. So once we adjust that, you can see right down here, boats had it recently. There's only 25 in the last 60 days. We always want to make sure that we adjust our price by low to high up here. And then now we can finally start taking a look at what's going to fall into our criteria. All right, and now that we're all set and ready, we can kind of start to look. So we've got our usual suspects here. The Oceanus 343 Clipper, not really my go-to boat as I discussed it in the last market breakdown. Beneteau 32, 60K for a 32 footer. That's a lot of money to pay. And as you can see, this one's had a $10,000 recent price drop. We got the Gemini Catamaran for 62K. Mentioned that in the last market breakdown. That is a pretty good buy if somebody wants a catamaran. Got the Catalina 310. Again, those earlier 2000-ish 30-foot Catalina, they generally have a lot of water damage, water moisture in their decks. I typically avoid them. Now we've got one in Vancouver, British Columbia, 131. It's a 2007. So that kind of justifies this a bit higher price here. Got the 133 usual suspects, 2004, right around 64K. Typical, again, 2000s ish 30 foot Catalina. We're going to avoid those. We got the Genoa Sun Fast 35. The Sun Fast, those are well known world cruising vessels. That one will take you anywhere that you want to go. So let's just take a little gander at this and see what she is currently looking like. Now, this is pretty small for a 35 foot vessel. Now, if we take a look at her, she's got a 31.95 feet length at the waterline, 35.27 length overall, and a beam of 11.45. Not the biggest 35 footer on the market. She does have a 34 gallon fuel tank, as well as an 82 gallon water tank. Now for water tanks, that's pretty big for the older 35 footers like this one. So if we take a look at her, here she is. Now, if you're a single guy and you really just want to go the distance and you're looking for a no frills vessel that will get you the distance, the 35 Sunfast will absolutely do the job. It's right within our current budget of 65K ish, and it's really a personal choice up to you. Now, these vessels, the Sunfast that are built in the early 2000s, they are pretty classic in their design. So it's going to feel like your typical sailboat, a bit like a cave. Doesn't mean it's good or bad, it just is how it is. And as you can see, in typical broker fashion, we're not subscribing, in typical broker fashion, oh, this guy actually did a pretty good job. He gave us a good list here as to what is going on with the vessel. So that's a good start. So the next thing we need to do is make a phone call and see if that's for you. In my opinion, the boat wouldn't work for me because I need something a little less cave-like. So back to the Yacht World. We're at the Geno 35. Again, the 2000 Hunters. If you're looking for this kind of vessel, right now they're about 65K. 
2007 ish so just find yourself the one that has the most options that you want the 30s catalinas absolutely not synergy that's a race boat beneteau first race boat beneteau america nope not gonna do that and the 30 foot catalina and now we're getting up out of our budget a little bit that's why we always keep our budget similar again price 60 to 75 we're looking for 65 foot sailboats so the j boat racer Beneteau 311, if you're looking for that type of vessel, there are better options. The 130 footers give you a lot more room. We got a J boat here, another 33 foot hunter, and we're getting pretty pricey. But a lot of that's due to the location, Northeast United States. Boats up there are always gonna be a bit more. We got the overpriced Kima, Texas 309. Kima, Texas, another place well known for overpricing the heck out of their vessel. That's due to the amount of time it takes to get it to there. We got a 36 Hunter, 2004 for 74. Sail pending, but that's a pretty decent little boat for that price. Now, luckily for me, this broker gave me a perfect opportunity to show you vessels that are listed incorrectly. This is a Hunter Legend 36. And as you can see here, it has a length at the waterline of 31.53 feet. A length overall of 35.73 feet and a huge beam of 12.34 feet going in line with our hunters and getting so much bang for your buck. Now she also has a fuel tank of 37 gallons and a water tank of 75 gallons. But our broker listed it incorrectly. The Hunter 36 has a length at the waterline of 29.5 feet and a huge discrepancy in the length overall at 35.92 feet with a beam of only 11.08 feet. Always pay very, very close attention to the listings as more often than not, they are improperly listed because brokers are what, ladies and gentlemen? Potatoes. All right, we're back at Yacht World and we got our 136 here. We got a Beneteau 323, but the Hunter is far, far bigger. Even though it's only a couple years older, I would choose the Hunter over the Beneteau all day. We got a Robert Perry Far Harbor, nice boat, but that's gonna require a lot of maintenance due to its design. Just not really what we're looking for. The Beneteau First Racer and an incredibly overpriced 133 up in Rhode Island. So today, ladies and gentlemen, what did we learn? Well, we can see that there is not very much on the market. Number two, you have to pay very, very close attention to the sailboats as often they are listed improperly. We always wanna keep our budget $15,000 either side so that we don't start putting on our rose colored glasses and get all googly eyed for vessels we cannot afford. We're also only looking at vessels added in the last 60 days currently. The reason for that is if a vessel has sat on the market in this market for more than 60 days, it's not even a vessel worth looking at. And there we have it. That's our $65,000 market breakdown currently December 2022. Now, I do want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. All my videos are made possible 100% through my patrons. To sign up for my patron, it's only $10 a month and you do get full access to my private members area with several hundred members all looking to get on the water sooner than later. So hopefully I will see you on my patron and members area soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, make sure to leave a comment down below and turn on those notifications. Thank you so much.